Welcome back. Today we have my four buffalo leeches, Lyra, Lydra, Lycra, and Lars. And um, I am just going to showcase them a little bit. They've grown quite a bit since you've last seen them, and uh, they're doing just so wonderful, as you can see. My uh, squish kids, as I call them. Uh, Lydra and uh, Lyra over here are about, um, I want to say three years old now. Uh, Lars is the same, although he is, um, or, sorry, not Lars, Lycra is the same, although she's quite a bit smaller. Um, she's the same age. Now Lycra here, um, Lydra. If she'll let me pick her up. <laughs> and, um, Lyra over here are, um, all the same age. You can see the kind of growth differences between the three of them right there. And it's crazy. Super crazy. <laughs> Uh, Lars, on the other hand, is quite big for his age. He's only maybe uh, not even a year old. He's like uh, seven months old, six and a half even. Um, and he's already gotten some crazy size, uh, just like Lycra here. Same size almost, a little bit smaller. And he's super cool because his patterning is uh, faded almost. His bands are there, the kind of piano keys of the Malaysian buffalo leeches. And um, other than that, his pattern is super faded, super cool. Um, Lyra over here, a lot more green. Uh, and she has a very bold pattern, as you can see, except for the top. The band is not present at all. Um, Lycra over here, her band is, is there, although it's hard to see. Um, it's a little bit more dull, but you can see it right there. And compare that to Lydra, who has a much more bold band going down her back, like so. Yeah, you can see the differences. <laughs> um, but they're all just super super amazing kids. Um, buffalo leeches are really incredible animals and uh, they are one of the few uh, blood-sucking medicinal species of leech. Um, they have these uh, touch receptors all throughout their bodies um, which they can uh, extend out to look like sandpaper like this or they can um, pull it almost all the way in and just be um, very smooth like uh, Lydra is over here, uh, not so much um, of the bumps coming out, although they have uh, different personalities. Some of them choose to do it more than others. Lydra does not like to do it as much as Lara, for example. So watch when I touch Lara. Her spikes, as I call them, the touch receptors will immediately just flare up like that. And you can see how they are... Uh, sandpapery like so but they're not um it's crazy because uh, to the touch it feels rough but they're not rough on the top they're actually very smooth um it's a really crazy texture because it appears and disappears uh at their control uh and then that paired with them having all sorts of shape-shifting abilities they can make parts of their body smaller parts of their body larger um uh to either fit their uh, surroundings, squeeze into a smaller area, um, etc. But uh, they're very versatile, uh, incredible animals, and you can see uh, how the belly is this darker color. So if you see them from below, it looks just like uh, the dark green uh, swamp looking up, and the same thing from top down, a little bit of a lighter coloration, uh, and then this is just camouflage over on the sides. Um, now a lot of people think that, uh, easy, uh, a lot of people think that, uh, they can bite you from both ends, uh, like, uh, most animals, they actually just have a single mouth and therefore a single jaw. Uh, this back end over here, uh, is a lot larger than the front end, and that is for two different purposes. 
Uh, it confuses predators, makes they makes them think that uh, this is the head, but this is actually just uh, the the tail end. They have a big sucker, uh, and it's used to uh, attach themselves to buffalo leeches. This is not a jaw at all. This is like an octopus tentacle. There are no teeth in here. Um, if she'll show me her sucker right there, um, and it's also where they poop out of. Uh, now, the front end on this side is where the jaw is located, and you can see how it's a lot smaller. They have a lip, and their eyes are located at the top of their head. They have six eyes that are sensitive to uh, light and shapes, but uh, you can see them right there where that black splotch is right there. They're very small eyes, and uh, they're also retractable <laughs> like the jaw, so uh, it's hard to get a good shot of those eyes. Um, as far as the jaw goes, uh, it's actually also retractable, and it stays right about here in their body usually. It only ever comes out to the mouth when they are feeding. So what happens is they will, um, if you let a medicinal leech sit on you for a few minutes and you're very still, um, their mouth will grab and then it'll extend and it'll almost look like this back sucker here. So they have a front sucker. Uh, where their jaw is located, and that's just the lips around their mouth. And so that will extend, and it'll, it'll turn into this little shape right here. will turn into a little circle, and they'll curve their head up like this. And the, the top of the head will be like this. So they'll be sniffing around, sniffing around, and they'll find a spot, and then they'll do this curve. And meanwhile, the front end is turning into that little circle. It looks very similar to this end when they're doing so and um, they'll start feeding like this. And as soon as they get uh, a good blood flow going, they'll just kind of relax, stay suctioned to the same area, and just stay there until they're done feeding. And you can see the crop expansion is in, uh, crazy. Uh, my buffalo leeches are fed right now. They're all quite massive, uh, as you can see. Um, and uh, that is just because of uh, the crop expansion. They can swallow up to 10 times their own body weight in, in uh, blood. And so you can imagine uh, the inflation that ensues from that. Uh, they are annelids uh, related to earthworms. They're in the same family, but these guys are carnivores or specifically parasites um, because they do feed off uh, other animals. Uh, the reason these guys are so large compared to the uh, North American medicinal leeches, for example, um, is that these guys feed on buffalo, so they have a very large uh, source of food. Uh, that's also why their suckers need to be a lot bigger, because the buffaloes, uh, the Asian water buffaloes, hence uh, buffalo leeches, um, aren't super cooperative uh, when they're being fed on. So these guys have a crazy grip on this end, and it's a lot bigger suction to make for a lot stronger grip. And um, that's why they're so large. Uh, so they can feed on those water buffalo with ease. And normally you find these guys under rocks, uh, mud, in shallow stagnant pools. Uh, another reason I don't use filters, these guys are not used to flowing water. They are leeches, not fish. Um, and uh, ruler, can show you a little bit better. There you go. Uh, that's a massive, massive size uh, for a leech, uh, let alone any annelid. Um, and so you get a pretty good idea of just how uh, giant these guys can be. And uh, yeah, it, it's the one species that I am super passionate about um, besides yellow anacondas. My second favorite animals for a reason, and um, I think they're really underappreciated. So uh, I love them, and uh, I hope you can too. So thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one.